That's weird. In my <laughs> oh, oh, I, this, yes, uh, there it is. Okay, yes, yeah, all right. It's a you want it? yeah, OBS was not happy with the shutdown. Do, 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 it's tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky. <laughs> Technology is a wonderful thing, but it lets us do this 99% of the time. So, cool. I'm very excited. Let's check the levels. You know, I, I know you guys are busy, but it's probably not easy for everybody to manage. Test, test. There I am. I bet that got me back. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, headphones. You guys talk for me just for a second. Hi. Talking yeah, and talking. There you are. Cool. Talking Thank you guys talking. for bearing with us over these technical Hello. difficulties. Splashing um, and splashing. Um, thank you so much for sticking around. We're... Back cool, and thank you for the raid, which apparently happened right as we went crashing down. Basically. <laughs> Perfect timing. I Perfect think you timing. got raided by the person who your channel then auto-hosted, and so they basically raided their own channel for a second. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. We planned it that way. We totally planned it that way. We're nothing if not temporal anomalies here. Hey, you know. Um, so... In the, uh, uh, I was asking you all for perception checks as you all approach the lift. As you guys are sneaking across the top of the plateau. Uh, still underneath the invisibility. Um, did Cal shapeshift back into human form? Well, uh, On the lift, you were both a mouse and a squirrel? Yes. Um, no, uh, no, I ended up not doing that remember yeah. no you ended up because no in the end you did it so you oh, oh in the end i did yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, I'm a, I, no i'm a mouse yeah no mouse I'm so mouse. um on actual luck no. yeah. so on the 18 cilia as you guys are sneaking back and staying away from any sort of major path or road uh, you guys uh, do see that a uh, a wagon with um uh, a driver and about five people seem to be heading back towards the um, back towards the um, the main hangar uh, where you guys have been held prisoner. Um, from this distance, you're not able to make out who they are, other than um, just sort of telltale uh, wagon and folks moving fairly confidently, but also keeping uh, aware of who might be around them. Um, but uh, you guys then get back to the lift. Um, the, the lift uh, is already gone and gone back down again. You can see some of the machinery um, uh, machinery uh, whirring there. What do you guys want to do? Are you guys going to uh, are you guys going to hide? Uh, there is sort of the uh, as you guys know from the territory that we had before. There are sort of storage lockers up here. There is also sort of the ruins of the old inn that. Uh, you could hide within or do you want to just out in the opening just keep invisibility up um that buys you only another hour you know you've got a while uh before yeah no I, i'd say up. maybe just find actual places to hide nearby yeah the, uh, like um, the storage spaces or whatever Delia would want to take the short rest while we wait <laughs> oh yeah you would have time to do so so um just and one minute actually... oh go ahead. sorry go ahead i was just say roll investigation just to see if you can find a spot oh okay you all can have advantage because you can pretty much take your time doing this. I don't think I'm going to go there, but no. Okay. And I was going to say I'd actually take Iska out of the ring so that way she can actually get advantage of a short rest. Right. Since yeah, way. otherwise, yeah, it's not going to be long enough. Oh, thank you. So, um, yeah, if you want, you can go ahead and roll t as well. Um, Iska and she and can contribute Iska. to the short rest. Yep, absolutely. Sure. You can do your song of rest as well. Uh, Kyle, we need an investigation from you. No, no, no. That's advantage. So that was great. Yeah, at advantage. Um, uh, on the nat issues. 20, um, yeah, you guys going uh, searching around can uh, go into the old ruin in, ruined inn, and you're able to find actually it seems as though there was sort of a um 
a dry cellar underneath of the staircase that you guys can get down into. Uh, it even took you, it took you all a while to spot it. It was just Iska, um, uh, I, uh, able to, uh, catch it. And you guys are hidden, secure, um, unseen, unheard, able to do a short rest and can do song of rest. Um, are we, are we saying that I caught up to them and found them or? Um, do me a, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Cause y'all are all invisible. Um, yeah. I'd be booking it back to the lift. Yeah. You'd be doing the same thing. So yeah, do me a favor. Do me a, uh, investigation check actually. Cause I love this. Um, even though you're invisible, and you were thinking the same thing on the nat one with Iska's uh, nat twenty. Um, both of you being invisible, uh, pretty much just slam into each other on the stairs of the ruined inn. Um, and uh, yeah, how does that go when you you bump into something invisible, Iska? Oh, it's the like the uh, very loud whisper. Like, I found him. God, Ishrin. <laughs> Just, 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 oh my nose! Oh! Are you okay? Are, did you get followed? Or are, are you are you sure they're? Are you okay? Oh, is it glowing? Is it glowing? I can't see you. You're... You have. Oh, you have a fair point. I could break it if you want. Oh, that was really close. Ah. Oh. Iskrin, drop the spell. Oh, hi guys. Hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, please. You, you guys can head down into this cellar and, uh, yeah, and can take your short rest. Um, so the party going up. Kel, you are in a mouse shape. Luck, you are wearing the have disguise and, and looking like a big ass ogre. Uh, you have grain on your back. Axel, you are currently polymorphed into a cat. Um, as the uh, ride goes by, um, certainly Axel, uh, even though you are in cat form. And how long does Polymorph from the wand last? I don't even know. Hour. I believe it's just Polymorph spell, so I think it's an hour. Okay. So um, after an hour, um, and you know the orcs know uh, what's going on. Yeah. Because uh, I would have heard, you've got to stay on the chairs. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, about... Uh, halfway up in fact i mean you can even as a cat you can sort of hop down and hop on the chair uh etc yeah. and uh so you guys uh you change back into tabaxi form halfway through sitting there there's a little bit of a grunt from the um from the operator and the kid uh the operator's muscle and the kid but he's just like you on the chair i don't care keep your keep your ass on the chair and uh that's what he's paid to do <laughs> doing my job um, and, uh, you guys, uh, head up to, um, that's interesting. We lost the donation, uh, clock during all of that. Interesting. That's a future problem. That's a future yeah, we problem. All, we've got 40 minutes, so. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. uh, you guys, uh, get to the top. Uh, as you're going up, you notice all the gargoyles, uh, along the way. Axel, you can see all of these, uh, uh, gargoyles, uh, stone carved into the side, but then also, uh, very much, um, more than stone. You can sort of tell, uh, some of these seem to be, uh, weathered and broken as though they were used to make it seem like there were more but amongst them uh you and kel as well because you experienced one earlier there are real actual gargoyles like the ones that you fought inside of the grand eastern station you guys uh arrive uh up at the top um it is uh again you left at six it is around 8 30 at night uh Again, Luna, uh, Iskrin, uh, Cilia, easily able to take a short rest um, from the schedule. You kind of know when it's about to arrive. How are you guys going, preparing for the lift's arrival? What are you all wanting to do? 
other than just wait for it and see. So how how much time have we has passed on this short rest? Uh, a couple hours. Uh, you said about uh, it was four uh, thirty when you left to four forty five an hour back to the lift. So five thirty, six thirty, seven thirty, eight thirty is when it arrived. About three hours, not quite long enough to do a long rest for a uh, for an elf. Um, close, but not quite. You get your spell flops back anyway. You're fine. Yeah, I know, but it's the health that I'm worried about. Yeah. Then they hit dice. I uh, already I spent them all. Up. Remember? No, I only use one. Yeah, yeah, I spent all my hit dice previously. Oh, when you did the short. Oh, when he did the short rest, he spent them all. Uh, yeah, I forgot. So but anyway, I think yeah, would have stayed in. Would like just started long resting. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna make it, but uh, you can certainly uh. Yeah. Whoop, hello. <laughs> um, so, well, you from the short rest, you can still... Do you have even one hit die left or used every one of them? So, yeah, you can't even get the benefits of, uh, of Iskren's song. Uh, Iska's song. So, um, are you guys looking out for the lift to come up? Or what's your all's plan with the lift arriving? As you don't know, necessarily, uh, last you heard... Uh, I mean, Iska sent that message asking like telling them what was happening so i yeah. think we keep an eye on the lift knowing them knowing they'll be up yeah as soon as yeah. they can yep. yeah uh having not seen them already up on the lift they were supposed to ride um you know uh or anywhere around the town uh as uh you see the lift pull into position you see uh six uh yes S uh six large orcs seven large orcs because uh, you've got the, ha the disguise is a time limit on that. For, remind me. It's disguise self, so it can reapply it. Yeah. Will, but Axel will polymorph himself again into a cat before we reach the door. Okay. Uh, uh, control. Kel, are you staying in um, mouse form? You're muted, but yeah. Um, For now, yes. So. <laughs> Why uh, buy a cat? Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Celia, uh, Kyle, uh, you guys are on the lookout and see seven orcs uh, in a wagon <laughs> get off of uh, get off of the lift. Uh, they the same orcs I was playing. Dice they are the, yep, they are the same group of orcs that you were playing dice with, except they seem to have one more that you did not see down below. What do my eyes tell me? Um, detect magic. Uh, one of the orcs is wearing a magical hat that has illusion magic on it. The one that you don't recognize. Um, right. Do me a perception check from here. All right. Perception. Oh, easy spot. Um the orc that you've never seen before that has a hat that has illusion magic on it has grain riding on its on its uh, on its back. Grab silly shoulder, shake it. Silly, so silly, pluck, 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 pluck. And I just start to point. We, we recognize these orcs, right? You recognize yeah. the orcs, but you also you mainly recognize this seventh orc that has grain on its on his shoulder on his back. Okay, we'll That's just try it out. And we just literally kick the door, glitter, bam. <gasps> and just. We still have mm -hmm. items we need to get back. I thought, I'm sure, I thought they were cats. Luck. We I... were. Axel hops We need off. to get the rest of our things. Oh, oh what didn't we get? You're all out. You got out. We did. Uh, Kel turns and Kel hops down and turns into himself. Like, you're all here. You didn't kill them all. No. No. We, we had we... to get out first. Get out from. from what happened? Captured. They captured oh. us. They tied us up. Yeah. And we. Uh, with went... Luck managed to escape. I I only just managed to get it. How did luck help? How did luck help you? He was with us. I was out. I think, I think she was meaning, like, 
the luck is in oh, the oh, good, right. good luck charm. You know what? Luna's going to use her create water for the day. <laughs> Kale's going to get a water balloon in the face. Sploosh. Oh, that's a first. It's oh, just green. Kel doesn't it back. <laughs> Kel isn't bothered in the least. He needed it's a bath not meant anyway. To hurt. Yeah, he uh, needed a bath anyway. <laughs> it, it look, looks up so. Uh, what 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 are we doing now? I'm going back and finishing the job. D did you happen to notice anyone coming up on the left side going that way? We did. I don't even know when you got out. There was did one you? wagon that was headed directly in that direction. Okay, that was the last wagon, I think. So, well, the the leader is there. When they captured you, does it, was it like a, a, an opportunity? Did they... they planned for it. They knew it was us. They bound us specific, very specifically. They, they said of... as much. Then, yeah, we might want to go and try and capture the leader, or if he was the leader. Luck, uh... That seemed to be the impression I got. We have that. Axel, <laughs> they had me bound in a net. I couldn't move in or out of it. They are prepared. They will not stop after this one attempt. They will continue after this. They well, have... We, we have helped help these guys. We have um, secured their help. Um, we have also... Um, oh, yeah. We're, we really we came here for a rescue attempt. But we can, we can, yeah, we could try. We could try an attack. So probably it. they might be ready or might be cautious now that you've escaped, but you've been in there, so you know what it looks like as well. Yeah. We do. Do. If, if we have already secured their aid, I think this is the best chance we will have. Uh, yeah, Kavan uh, looks at you and just like, you want to go head on with them? We can do it, but they are slippery. We need to have a, should have a plan going in there. It's going to be on their turf. Yes. Yeah. What do you know? I've, um, never, I've not been over there, but I've a few times that we've tangled with them when our business interests collide. It's never been pretty heavy losses on both sides, but and they do hold a grudge. They save a what them all out. We hold oh. a grudge too. We could use that. If they hold a grudge against your lot, we might be able to use that. Poss possibly, I, I don't know how, what form it would take. They might just be trying to steal from me or something. But yeah. Luna, Luna will explain as much as the layout is we were able to see between our stealth in the round and then running everything. Just will relay the information. Of Actually, the she'll just draw it out. Well. This is what she does. Dirt. Yeah. We're drawing out. I was going to say, yeah, you're a cartographer, so. Istrin's going to point out the that there are only two kobolds that he could see during his time there. You only see two kobolds? Uh, yeah, you only were able to identify two of the kobolds who uh, right. you know are troublesome and there was only one of the uh guys there that tried to hit me with the mace Just uh, one of those guys no you saw a couple of them you're not sure if you saw all of them okay well i'm gonna mention that there are a few of those guys there too. um yeah he's gonna mention he's gonna mention the alcoves um he's going to yeah they basically travel around in hordes. So if we can get them all together and drop some... If we can get them all together and if I could open up the Frost Prince's Forge, that will blind them, make it harder for them to move around and also damage and freeze them, cut them in shreds. Well, Axel sort of flicks his, you know, flicks his claws in this little ball of flame with precipitation. Yeah, we could blow them up. But we have to get them in that one place, and it's probably not going to be all of them. They're probably quite aware of what thing, you know, that we can probably do things like that. 
You can always get They are on high alert now. We have managed to remove three of their number. I do not think we will have a better opportunity than this. That is true. We did take out what I can only assume to be a spellcaster as well. Why are we even debating this? Like, We're not well, debating it. We're planning. We need to be ready. Not. If we dive in there, bad things can happen. At the same time, we could, you know, not hang around this list and move. Um, yeah. yeah, let's let's get back into the room. Let's get yeah, you can go into the ruins of the old yeah. inn. We can say that you all sort of moved in there to sort of start discussing. Sure. Um, we could... I don't want to suggest that no one's going to go for it. Like, we could have a frontal assault. We can pinch the them. Have one attack from one side and one the other. We know there's a gap on the wall that me, me and Antonia got out of. Mm -hmm. yep. And then Back there was corner. the other... Yeah, the main hangar. Yeah, there's main hangar doors, and then there's the... Ruined Are the orcs coming with us, I'm presuming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've hired them for this. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Otherwise, I would not. They're willing enough. I mean, they are... Um, There's 500 gold in it for you. You can do you can do an insight check if you want on the orcs. Oh, I'd love to do an insight check. I do offer them 500 gold. Uh, you don't have from any where? money. You don't have any money. Yeah. You're broke. Well, there, there's 500 gold in there somewhere for them. If they you can find his gold. pouch, yeah. If you can find his belt pouch, you can have. They can have that. They've already been paid. Well, they yeah, can they have more. Um, on a seven, yeah, uh, hard to read. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. A 13, 14. Okay, yeah. If you guys want to, you guys can all do your insight if you want. I'm assuming they haven't said anything untrue. Yeah, no. Uh, you're just getting a feeling of them. I mean, uh, hearing you all talk about a frontal assault, you see, uh, you know, they're shifting from foot to foot. A um, little bit of grumbling from them. Um, Kevon seems to have a little bit, have, have a hold on them, but... Um, whether they, you know, they're certainly, you know, they're going to stay good to their bargain, but how far that, how, when they feel that their debt is paid, you're not sure. Fair. We can, uh, let's see, Iska can still use, Iska can use her spell to make three of them invisible. Um, let's see, so we can make some of them invisible for this, yeah. for this attack sneak people inside and then mm -hmm. the biggest issue with that is of course if something goes wrong it's gonna be difficult to help each other but so maybe always have a means of you know invisibility as an escape with it just in case just stay out of sight and things go terribly bad but we can't make that many invisible on an escape no and we three we live many more than that here well from well, assault we can have you actually can get six because Iskrin has his spell slots back. Yeah, that's true. These, these are caverns, right? No. And actually, didn't Iska say she had invisibility on her instrument? That's, that's what, what I was saying. That's, 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 the, the, that's the six. Is you've got three oh, on the okay. instrument and three on Iskrin. Is it open above? Is there a roof? Is it what? Is there a roof? Yes, it's been torn open by what looks like to be Neverwing. We could always draw name never wings there. That is an awful idea, Miss. I know. But yeah, we can always have maybe somebody. Did you see anyone on the roof? No, the way very did. high up. Did not. We could always try and get up there. Or it's a crap vantage point. Bring them well, out with us. Yeah. Have arranged uh, people on the roof then. Well, not, maybe not on the roof, but maybe up on the upper level. Maybe maybe a hundred feet Let, up. Why, there why like hundred feet them up? out? Do we do we have no way of well bringing them to us? Yeah, Luna, with your cartography, you know that the actual roof of the uh, hangar was probably 
250. I mean, it, it's that's not gonna work. That's yeah, work. it's. I mean, on. again, think this is a Zeppelin hangar. I mean, that's what you're talking about okay. here. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. This is. You know, yeah, yeah, but being able to effectively shoot people from the roof is... That's my thing. It's like, yeah, you would, no. yeah, you would be able Yeah, Luna, with your cartography, you would you'd have been able to estimate those distances of just knowing it's a long damn way up there. And a fall from there would not be fun. No. Do we want to perhaps slowly pick off people patrolling on the outside? We know they were running patrol routes when we were in there. I imagine they would still be doing the same. You, you work want, out and you slowly want, in. You cause panic. They will all draw them to, to draw them out if we cause panic inside. Uh -huh. Fire, something like that. Just because, cause, just because, and I'm sure that it, you know. You say draw panic and confusion, uh, Iska, uh, because she reminded us in chat earlier. Goes, I have two war ostriches. And she points to patches on her. Luna, with that same reminder, just like berserkers. You have a horn that you can, will bring in three D four plus four berserkers. We can have a force of many. We, yeah, we can have a force of many up here, right in their midst. And we don't take a yeah. single step inside. So that is true. Them in and run them out. That's what works. At, at the same time, you could bring them in, and I could, if I'm within range, I could probably drop a spell. If the berserk, if the warriors and the ostriches stick away from it, it would probably be grand for them. Because no, I we have, I at least once they're released, they won't attack us. But that's as much control as I have. I can War ostriches are about the are about the same, unless you're mounted on it. But, yo, know, uh, um. I finding a th finding a throat, you know, uh, you know, of to like a choke point. A choke point. I mean the 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 hangar doors were the hangar door area was huge, um, but potentially uh, you know with some you could you you certainly could. I was gonna say I'm trying to remember the radiuses of some of y'all spells. Um, you know, uh, Frost, uh, Frost Prince's sword is twenty, which is basically hunger, hunger of the star. But it's uh, twenty feet radius, so that's yeah, forty feet 20, across. Forty feet across. Would that yeah. fill the doorway? Uh, no. Remember, this had a blimp that went through it, but um, yeah, yeah. yeah the, start the door is very large. I mean, it's even with, even with what's left of the doors that were broken off um, you know, part of its uh, part of its things it's still about a probably a four, I'd say about it was 500 feet we'll say it's 250 foot wide opening um, at the main hangar door y'all didn't uh, well, see it very close so you don't know necessarily what might what fortifications or whatever might be there as you were basically went towards it and we're still about 150 feet away before you turned around and went back in a hurry so you don't know a lot of details other than just big giant square of daylight cool all right um with my sphere, I, I know I can cast Sleep Storm. And that's a 40 foot radius. I can do that as well. We can make two. Hi. We can certainly lock them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Make it yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Sleet, so you've got, yeah, Sleet Storms, Fireballs. Um. <laughs> yeah, we've got a whole bunch of these things. The problem is getting enough of them to be effective. Well, well. Would we cause for panic? Uh, and I, I don't want to be caught here, but if me, the orcs, and anyone else who prefers fighting close get in there, we fight up and close, we get as many as we can towards us, we back out and let the spellcasters do the work. They might be. It's possible. They also have. Well, no, because we're tough. We can handle the kobolds. You do know Hopefully. that you've got those guys. Yeah, there are the kobolds, but if we can spot them, we do have, well, right here it is. We like to use the, 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 the You 
do have the scepter. Yeah. And it's like, and if. Oh, it's vicious. Axel pulls out a blood opal. Sort of. Looks at it with a little bit of concern. Yeah. Desperate measures, I could. Yeah. Bring that to blow? I could. Mm. Summon a spirit of death. And then. Oh! Can... Let's do that. It consumes life. Instantly. No. Let, let, let's not do that. I don't want to either, but if it, you know, if it's a desperate mission, I'm letting you know that it exists. We'll put that to a last resource. And I mean a last resource. So we cause a panic. Summon our forces, cause a panic. And try and run them through the hangar, since that's the most... <laughs> Yeah, you're going to try to draw them out through the main hangar doors or frontal assault to try to pin them in the back corners like where y'all were trapped. Just, I'm trying to understand the plan. I, which one of those is it? I'm not sure. We That's have, the thing. Like, if, we, if, if you want to do the spellcaster thing, then we're going to have to draw them out and then melee players yeah. are going to have to take op attacks to get out of the way. Okay. And actually, I'm not sure how well that's going to work because we're all going to be on different turns. So perhaps maybe just try and pin them. We can also have, you know, the, the horses, berserkers at the back to prevent them from running away and hiding so they're stuck in the open in the hangar itself, if that's where they're collected. I think, which way do we want to run them? Or is the more pinned in area or the more open hangar area? Yeah, because you can bring, yeah. I mean, yeah. people can sneak in through the back and war ostriches and berserkers chase them out the front door or you can have war ostriches and berserkers chase them in to a waiting invisible casters if i think that's better if we, if we yeah. cram them into a small area so yeah, yeah. So i'd say chase you know have the war ostriches, berserkers chase through the front towards the back casters and invisible to the back there right in the face and how high are the ceilings inside the hangar very uh, they're like Two, three, 200 feet. Two, 250, 300, 400 feet high. Very high. Okay. Again, Zeppelin. Okay, it's a Zeppelin hang. I just wanted to clarify because yeah. that I know is is a prerequisite for some of those larger storm spells. You have yeah, to, you've got enough room for, storm, enough yeah, for, for storm spells. You've got enough height. Wonderful. Let's wreck them. I, th I, think, we should, I think we should chase them in if they come out and things go wrong, they're more less they're more likely to escape. Alright. Right, so do we agree which end we're chasing them towards? End. We're chasing them in. Okay. If so what are you gonna be your two groups and how are you doing this? Let's get this sort of sorted out and then we'll do the combat next time because I do have learn by play tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um so you want orcs frontal or you want orcs uh orcs inside where i mean yeah give me give me some lineup of how this is going to go down because dear lord we're about to have some sh some combat <laughs> but, but she, uh do you so want me to give you all the page to draw stuff on uh yeah that'd be useful who who are the casters that are that we are chasing them towards axel and sounds Eskrin. like i have and Eskrin. Axel and I, they can do invisibility for a total of six. If Iska's but, with them, Iska. If Iska's with them. But, it, but, but, she, it's can, but Iska can cast it, but she doesn't have to be there once it's cast, correct? But, correct. I mean, it's, yeah, invisibility, it's uh, it's just like the spell. You, people you touch when you cast it. Yeah. Right. So I, I would pause it in the back. Axel, Iskren, at least two of the orcs. And then possibly a third orc and one of us. Or we need four, four orcs protecting the casters. And then the rest of us up front. Okay. Mm. The, the more melee and direct combatants. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Or maybe have Celia with the casters as well, since you have, since you have their stealth thing anyway, and you also you're going to be part of the invisible group. Okay, so then how about Axel, Iskrin, Iska, Celia, and two orcs, two of yeah. the orcs in the back, and the rest of us up front. 
Four orcs. Sure. Luna, Luck, Kel. and Kel. Kel. Uh, yeah, that, that seems about. Sure. That's just on the pit. Okay, so. I will. To help me understand, can you put some of this on the sheet of paper? <laughs> on the on the. Uh, we're still on the map. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're still on, on the pretty. Oh, thing. sorry. Put you there. There you go. Yep. Uh, hey, it's that previous drawing. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Right. Planning so, the stream. All right. So we'd say like it's that size. I mean, I draw it bigger just so that. I mean, you can, but yeah, it's basically twelve hundred feet by uh, six hundred feet is kind of what we're talking about here. Now, you don't have to do it to actual scale here, but you know what I'm saying. Just it's that kind of ratio. It's you know, it's yeah, almost. And the openings are on the short ends. On the short ends, yes. So actually, do you want me to give you like the what the general outline is? Yeah, maybe that's, yeah, probably, maybe that's probably the better thing to do. So. Kind of this type of an idea. Um, um, main hangar door is here, up there on that side. Um, I should have done that as squares. Um, so I'm not this anything. is. Is it Teams there? Oh, I did. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, Axel, how uh, how does the scepter work? Can anyone use it? Um, I believe you have to be attuned to it, but I believe anyone can use it. Yeah. Okay. So, admittedly, you know. <laughs> it belongs to the orc. The no, orc, so it's not part of my rectify anymore. Yeah, I'm just checking how they can use it. Yeah. Okay, well, we bet. Let me turn on the map here so people can see what we're doing. Yeah. We uh, should let them know. Yeah, we should let the orcs, orcs know that if they that they should plan to use a scepter, if they see a kobold, use it on them instantly, straight away, regardless of blood loss. So is the the front opening at the top? Yep. So the top is the front opening, and then I'm not going to draw all of them, but basically, yep. uh, you have these stalls that I was talking about. Uh, right. Are, and then what's the red square at the bottom corner? That's where the back corner is broken out. Uh, so if, imagine uh, it being pretty, but basically it's where the back corner was ripped open by nether wings. The roof is... And, that, and that's in. where we're stationing our people in the back. Yeah, that's it's where... Good. So uh, this is sort okay. of down here is where they were kept prisoner. Up here is sort of where the items were. Now, there's stalls all along here, and this is sort of where the main group was hanging out when they uh, were going in, but... Uh, so then, w with all of that in mind, where the red square is denoting where the back corner is broken open, yeah. that is where Iskrin, Iska, Axel, Cilia, and two orcs will be stationed invisible. Ooh, I like to think, yeah, invisible? Invisible. All right, invisible. Isn't that what we had discussed? Yeah. Yeah. And cool. then in the front will be Luna, Luck, Kel, the remaining four Oops. orcs. Yeah. And then we will have the extra forces appear. <clears throat> in the middle yeah. uh, can you read me uh, your Valhalla horn um, um, yeah we also need to be careful because they have spellcasters too and they can do the exact same thing we don't need to be all huddled yeah. up into one area that is true exactly so when it comes in I think the main focus for the entire thing is to deal with the spellcasters first yeah Get the kobolds out of the way. Get the other, the three other robed hooded fi figures out of the way. They're our priority targets. Even if we throw your ostriches, just straight on top of them. Uh, within, just letting you know, the range of the horn is sixty feet. Yep. 
Yep, I'm going to be with the, that group. That's fine. Yep. And we do have to take the leader into account because we do not know what the leader is capable of. I don't think he's going to be pleasant. Wasn't he heading up with the wagon that passed? Yes. Us? Bird, you're muted. Yes, uh, you got. You don't know if he was there. You saw a group of uh, a group of six, you know, a wagon and five people. Uh, right. Timing. That's the yeah. thing. We don't know that he's there. He may be there. Yeah, he may right. not Correct. be. But we have to be on the lookout oh. for him. So if he is there, we have to be aware of him and be prepared to deal with him because we don't know what he's capable of. I don't know why we would assume he wasn't there. Yeah. Might be I I don't know why either, but somebody brought it up, so. Axel think you know, there's probably a leader or somebody of some importance there who's organizing things there, maybe the priest or something. And we just want the information, so we can just capture somebody somehow. All right. There's going to be plenty left alive. Maybe. Not if I have anything to say about it. As I. So um, the orcs, as this is planning, uh, start listening and just like, so you want us to risk our lives on this. What is your plan with uh, the goods there carrying with them? They had four wagons with them. If you want us to be in the middle of this bloodbath, we want half. Half? Half. Good signs. Damn it, should have asked be, for three. I should have asked for three. Would be taking, would be <laughs> but you yeah. didn't. You, know, nope. you lost out on that one, mate. You're, you're good at dice, but uh, haggling will work. Luck. It's okay, friend. I learned hard, the hard way, too. No. No. We'll also have a look at how things are after it's all over. There might be something that we can get. You have that we don't need if we can't. Oh, up. certainly we could do some some uh, trading of those things that we might want more than you have, etc. Yeah. So he looks but at this. Remember, let's take out the casters. Let's try to get deal with them as well. Be aware of the cobalt. And I'm sure if the half elf is there, one of you would like his head. I take it. Well, we want to capture the half elf, but why? Maybe once we're done questioning thing, then. Oh, if we're getting if if this is happening, there can be no survivors because I'm not going to be tied to this. So if you have any we qualms, ab if you have any qualms about the mole dying, you better speak now. I don't. If we need information, we can get the information and then kill him. No, I'm not fine with killing anyone. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to. We'll take care of it. Luck, I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder. I know you don't want to kill them. But this will continue. Iskrin, do not make Luck do something he doesn't want to do. He doesn't have to kill anyone. Um, I didn't want to say that. I wasn't going to say that. And I promise I was not going to say that. I just wanted to let him know that, going to, that between us all, it's probably going to happen. That he's but he's not going to kill him. I'm not saying that you are. I'm not saying that you are. Pat's his shoulder. Do whatever you want. You always do that. We'll discuss this after. So it's decided. It's done. Yep. Yeah. Escape plan. What are we going to do? If this goes, if this goes wrong, what are we going to do? Meet back at the ruined inn near the, the left. Cool. They'll, they'll find us. They'll find us. They'll probably suspect. You know that yes, we can't. But there will also be guards. We can't mm, allow them to go wrong. No. We, we are not afforded that luxury. It's done. Like the last list is already up. They won't have anybody there. What Iska says is true. Yeah. Is this, this, is really... a, this is a win or this is a win or loss. There is this no... is all or nothing. Not just no, trust, but... 
Score they don't have measures. At least. If they don't twist the back, back out at any time, I love it. Well, as he said, if he if any of them survive, he's tied to this, so. We're tied to this. Yeah. Of course. But focus on victory. Focus on victory. If something goes bad, if something goes bad on your end, get out of there. Stay alive, stay safe. But I, I think, yeah, and then somebody else will have to step up and we can find you and we can help you out. But we're a team, remember? <laughs> we can do this. Oh, wait. We're okay. You're muted. Yep, we're getting close to end time uh, you should just as it. well. So let's, and I know that uh, Tunarth has to go. We'll go ahead and let him sign off, and then um, unless you just need to run, run. Um, but uh, and we will, uh, we will let you guys plan some more over the course of the week because you do have time to plan uh, this whole assault. So uh, we can be ready to jump right into it uh, next time. Go ahead, uh, Tunarth. So I am Tunarth and Chatham Pong sixty five on Twitter. I don't do much but retweet this. And Tan, uh, Tanya's game, T. Fredrickson, 80, Sunday, tomorrow afternoon, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, as well as The Power Within, um, Claudia's brother Zidic. And I will see everybody next week. Bye. 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 Oh, next here. up, let's do uh, Bird vs. Plane. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Bird vs. Plane. You can find me here every Saturday now and uh, on my own Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Bird vs. Plane. I'm playing Vampire. It's pretty cool. Thanks for joining us today. Um, next up, we've got uh, next up, we've got Axel, who is in the Good Guy Pie Square, which is freaking me out. Hello, I'm Good Guy Pie. I, I am uh, Temple Ward, and I was playing the Tabaxi Wizard uh, hidden by Axel, who doesn't want to murder people, but actually does want to murder people. Um, you may catch me in here, anywhere, anywhere on the internet as Templar Warden. You may also find me on uh, Twitter at Rainer Templar, and that's me done. Next up, we have Alicia. Hey, I'm NNG9 on Twitch for our live stream video games. It's where a whole bunch. We will be finishing Final Fantasy 15 right after this. 30 minutes. It's happening. Um, I'm also NNG9 on Twitter where I tweet that random stuff. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Player in T. Ferguson's 80 Sunday game. S for the Power Within. Very different character. Um, and also uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Sunday. And also the Friday night game, which is the Chronicles of Darkness game, Legends of the West. That's yeah, so Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Next up, we have got Dragons or Cats. Hello, everyone. I am Dragons or Cats, and oh my god, what an anxiety-inducing part that was tonight. I didn't think I was going to make it. I honestly did not. But that was incredible. This is going to be so much fun. Um, Ishkrin's an Aladdin. and he's probably killed, m he's killed m millions and millions and millions and millions and millions. Just look at his backstory. Um, let's see how it goes next week. I'm scared. Next up, we have uh, uh, we have uh, Jeanette. Hi. Um, yeah, it's fun. Delia has no problem killing people. Well, she does. She's an assassin. <laughs> you can go follow me. Um... On Twitter, I don't really tweet things, but I retweet things. So if you want to know what's happening, all you gotta do is follow me. Um, I also have a game on Friday on my friend Sev 09s Mixer channel. Um, Fridays at 9 p.m. where June. July 6th, it's June now, July 6th, we will be in introducing a new season and my Bard Rogue, which I'm really excited about. And I am... Now I'm muted. And last but not least, we have Good Guy Pie. So, 
people, uh, remember, if you think you can carry the burden of the lawful good heroic uh, archetype you would start with, it's a big burden. It's a big, big burden. <laughs> it's a, it's, oh god, it's, 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 going, it's going to be an interesting next week is all I'm going to say for myself. Worst comes worst, if you disagree, you can murder your friends. Wouldn't be the first time you try. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is going to be just wonderful. You can find me at Good Guy Pie on Twitch. You can find me at Too Good Too Guy on Twitter. You can find me Good Guy Pie anywhere else. Check out our Discord, because uh, hopefully we can get all those lovely text RPs back up and running. Uh, as well as... Uh, just uh, check me out uh, when I'm about, uh, when I'm not swamped with life. Cool. And so, uh, last but not least, I am Tall Squall. Thanks for hanging with me through the technical difficulties. Thanks for tuning in for our show. Thanks for donating to uh, our causes. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, hope to see you guys next week as this assault of the uh, old airship hangar uh, occurs here with the gang and to see how this all turns out. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, you can find me on Learn by Play in just about an hour from now over on the Dungeons and Dragons channel. And uh, until next time, gather your friends together and tell a story and stick around for our raid. Uh, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.